for a minute. Welcome everybody to History Minute. My name is Nahani Bourne. Once again, we are at the Haroni Museum with my new friend, my old friend, my always friend, Joe Bowlesley. Hi, Joe. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Great. Now, you stormed in here and you said, I am here, and you're going to talk to us about your company, Flooded Studios. Tell yes. me about Flooded Studios. When did Flooded Studios start? I have founded it in 2009. Yeah. Um, doing athletic apparel, graphic design. Yeah. Uh, it was basically created because I worked in an agency as an intern after yeah. I finished college, and there was a hiring freeze. Okay. And I thought, if I can't get work, I'll make work. Well, good for you. A lot of people are doing that. They're starting their own businesses in order to, to find work. And that, you know, it seems to be working too, the whole, it's the age of the micro business. Absolutely. So you're doing a lot of work locally? Yeah, I'm doing locally uh, with a lot of downtown businesses. Good. Um, and? and I've got some international clients that are great too, as far as uh, Hong Kong. Good, very cool. Now, are you doing stuff outside, like a greater Simcoe County area as well? You finding um, yeah. your spreading out there too? Yeah. Good, good. So Flooded Studios. Now, I wanted to congratulate you also. You were one of the nominees for the 2015 Culture Awards. I was. Under Emerging Talent. Yes. And that's for all the great things you do, because I also know you do some nonprofit stuff. I do. Yeah, I know you've done the posters for some of the PSS plays. Mm -hmm. And we need to thank you because you were the brain behind our Museum Man logo. I was. And our Museum yes. Man t-shirts, which mm -hmm. everybody loves. The history, be a history hero. That was yeah. Joe Bosley behind that. Thanks a lot for gifting that to us. It served us well. well. Uh, we still use it when we can't. Museum Man, thanks. So he couldn't be here personally <sighs> today. He's off in a history and heritage emergency, oh, but he does send his I regards. I wondered where he was. Yeah, he does send yeah. his regards, yeah. Um, you also had a Kickstarter that was really successful. Yes. It was for Kern uh, Ends. For Kern Ends, yes, for a set of bookends that yeah. I kind of had a concept for in college. Yeah. And uh, after college, it just kind of sat in the back of my mind and percolated. And, and? finally was ready to happen. and. Uh, I thought I'd do it up, and it worked. Yeah, so kerning is your bookends. And what is kerning? Because some people don't know. Kerning is the, the spacing between letters okay. in, in typography and in design. Okay. Um, and a lot of times it's overlooked. Yeah. So I thought it would be kind of fun to play on that idea of spacing by making bookends. And obviously the more books you put in between them, the wider the gap and the fewer Perfect. the gap, the narrow. So yeah. I thought I'd play with that and uh, found a great local manufacturer. Yeah. Uh, and they did all the production for me. And Good. We did some prototypes, and it, was, uh, it turned out really well. We, had yeah. a, success, a successful Kickstarter. Yeah, I've seen them all over the place from people who bought into the Kickstarter, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, they're really they're really cool looking. Yeah. There's some great woods that you're using. Yeah, it's, yeah, zebra wood, uh, walnut, um, maple, ash. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they're beautiful. They're beautiful bookends. Now, I'm very excited to have you here today because this is exciting news day. Yes. This is big news day for Flooded Studios. Tell me more. No, you tell me more. <laughs> what's happening as of today? You can announce it. What's going on? Because you have been, and I follow you on Facebook, every now and then you will you do jerseys. I do jerseys. Yeah. And you send them out to the Dave Matthews Band, and occasionally right. they will wear them on stage. Occasionally. And repeat, occasionally. Yeah. And they've been seen on their international tour. Mm -hmm. Those jerseys have also been seen on the David Letterman show. I Correct. think you sent a jersey to David too, yeah. because they played his final week of shows. That's right. So Letterman has a, a jersey that was given to him live on air. That's exciting. By the band. Yeah, and it's from Flooded Studios. Now, as of today, those jerseys are? Are now available uh, for sale, or for purchase, yeah. at DaveMatthewsBand.com. So they've bought, and you are their provider for these jerseys on their website. Exactly, so we, we've modified the jersey slightly. Yeah. Um, so Carter's are still very unique. Yeah. Um, but we've uh, removed the maple leaf from the side of the sleeve. Yeah. And replaced it with Carter's signature. Oh, So exciting. it's actually a signature jersey that uh, fans can buy. That's nice. Well, yeah. good for you. You know, and that was some that was a really brave effort on your part, just to start sending them and see where it goes, and it panned out for you. And I guess that's how mm -hmm. small business is working. Absolutely. And like like I mentioned to you before, this was meant as a gift. Yeah. 2013, I made one as a gift because I make jerseys. Yeah. And I uh, thought if he ever wears it once, that's my goal. Cool. And now he's got 21 of them. Uh, the whole international tour were just yeah. my jerseys that he wore. Good. And uh, so he's worn one or two. Yeah. He's worn one or two. One or two. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So floodedstudios.com. Mm -hmm. Check you out online. You're local. I know and you're down. Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and all that stuff. Yeah, I follow you on all those and you're good times. Oh, good. Good, good. times. Okay. Well, thanks for joining us on History Minute thanks today. And that's all we have for today on History Minute. Join us next time when we'll be talking to somebody else about something else. See you later. Good stuff, Joe. Hey, cool. Thank you. You're welcome.
time we have for History Minute today. If you'd like to visit us and learn more about your local history, we are open five days a week throughout the winter months and seven days a week throughout the summer. Come and join us here at Brody Museum.